Today we're talking about when is the best time to buy a home. Hi, I'm Shari Harris, and today we're talking about when is a good time to buy a home. And I have a special guest who's gonna talk about that today. We've heard from him before, it's Nathan Hampton. And in the other video, he discussed uh, being pre-qualified and what does a mortgage broker do? The question I get quite often is, should I buy now or when should I buy or when is the best time to buy? And I always tell my clients the best time to buy was obviously five years ago or one year ago or two years ago, um, but it's always right now. The best time to buy is now. If you can qualify to buy a home and you have the, the capacity to pay for a home loan or a mortgage, now is the best time to buy because let's say worst case scenario, the market turns, right? That's always a fear. People are like, what if I buy a house now and the market turns 20% or I lose 20% of my equity? As long as you can afford the payment and you've got stable job security, that's going to come back to you. I've been through several recessions and I've been through several downturns in the market. And what happens with the real estate is it always comes back. Historically, you can look at charts, you can Google whatever you want until your heart's content. Historically, homes have appreciated at 4% or greater since the invention of the mortgage. So as long as you can stay in your home, it's always the best time to buy. Um, when you rent, let's say hypothetically you're renting right now and your rent is $1,000 a month, which I'm sure some people would just love $1,000 a month rent right now. But let's just say hypothetically it's $1,000 a month and you're going to rent for five years, that's $60,000 in rent. Now if you could buy a home for the same payment, that's $60,000 in home and house payments that you've made. While your house was appreciating, you're also paying down principal, so you have compound factors happening. Not only is your house appreciating, but you're also paying down your current loan and eventually the goal is to have that home be paid off. So if it's not even that house or multiple homes, um, myself would love to have like 10 homes all paid for paying me rent when I retire and that's just a cool, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars coming in on rent-free property. So real estate has never been a loser long term, although it has had, you know, downturns in the market and again, there, there are going to be downturns and there's going to be one, who knows from now, five years, ten years, there will be a correction in home values and home prices, but it's not anything to be alarmed about or be concerned with as long as you have been pre-approved and you've kept your debt to income in line with what's comfortable with your lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching. Nathan Hampton really knows what he's talking about and I trusted him with my loan and he's helped a lot of my clients. So if you're needing help with your, your lending, please don't hesitate to reach out to him. I'll make sure his contact information is below. As always, my information is below as well and I'm happy to help you. I'll talk to you soon.